Over $9.3 million in federal funding is heading to Marjorie Taylor Greene's district, and she's taking credit for it. Even though she voted against the very bill that greenlit those earmarked funds. According to Business Insider, on March 6th, Marjorie Taylor Greene lit into her own party in searing terms as she voted against a package of bills to fund broad swaths of the federal government. Republicans have no excuse for having brought this minibus forward, the Georgia Republican said in a statement that day. Green listed a litany of grievances, including the fact that the package's six bills weren't receiving their own votes, the level of government spending, and the fact that it funds the Department of Justice. But now that it's passed, she's bragging to her constituents that she's responsible for it. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is proud to announce that she has successfully secured federal funding for seven seven different projects for Northwest Georgia, her office said in a March 11th release, saying the Congresswoman meticulously sought out the projects that received the funding. That included more than 3.8 million for an airport expansion in Floyd County, 1.5 million for a water treatment facility in Dade County, and several other projects totaling over 9.3 million. Green's Green's office touted a local story about the airport funding in an email newsletter to her constituents on Tuesday morning. Green is the latest Republican to boast about securing federal funds that they voted against. Just this month alone, 40 House Republicans have voted against funds they secured via earmarks. On March 6th, 83 House Republicans voted against a roughly $460 billion package of bills to fund large swaths of the federal government. 40 of them did so despite requesting and securing millions of dollars in federal funding for a variety of projects in their districts. Now we've seen Republicans rail against sweeping legislation that would benefit their districts or states for years. And then only they only turn around and take credit for it. A prime example of this was the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure act, which passed in 2021. Texas Senator John Cornyn and Alabama Senator Tommy Tuberville were two of the 30 Republican senators who voted against the bill. And then they both turned around and looked for cheers, looked for thanks for securing billions of dollars to help bring broad broadband internet to rural areas in their states. Tuberville tweeted, broadband is vital for the success of our rural communities and for our entire economy. Great to see Alabama receive crucial funds to boost ongoing broadband efforts. To which the Biden administration replied, see you at the groundbreaking. Now, Jake, I I don't know if there's anything you could do to stop this from happening, to require that they vote for things or withhold funding if they don't vote for it. But it certainly is enjoyable to watch them try to obfuscate, try to block pieces of legislation that would benefit their constituents only to turn around and act like it was all they're doing. Yeah, look, it's hilarious. Uh, So to mainstream media, if you don't know that politicians are liars yet, Welcome to America. Uh, For MAGA, if you don't know that your own Republican politicians are liars, welcome to America. So they all said, no, this bill is the worst. I'm gonna vote against it and I'm so proud to vote against it. This is an abomination. And then as soon as it passes, look at what I did. (laughs) Look, I did this, I got you the money. No, you voted against it. I mean, brazen, brazen. They don't care 1% about the truth. They couldn't care less. Is that amazing? Like, if you voted against it, I can see somebody coming and going, Look, man, I fought for these particular provisions in this district, and I wish they hadn't passed the bill, and I'm against this bill. And, and if it hadn't passed, yes, we wouldn't have gotten this. But I lost, but at least I, we got this for our district, and so I'm, I'm happy about that. Well, you could say, Hey, look, that's at least honest, right? But when you say like, don't you dare pass this bill, I'm a hero for fighting against this bill. And then turn around and go, I got you all the wonderful things in this bill, I'm a hero. All right, all right. It just, I mean, giant billboards above their heads going liar, liar, liar. Lauren Boebert said she was against earmarks completely. She went into Congress, she's like, I'm a true conservative. These earmarks are pork barrel projects. Now she's bragging about the $20 million in earmarks she got her district, which she didn't get her district because she voted against it.
So that's who these guys are. I mean, you saw that thing in Tommy Tupperville says, these crucial funds for Alabama. Well, if they're so crucial, why'd you vote against it? Liars through and through. Yeah, it's it's embarrassing, but I think there's a this, the problem is in so many of these areas, especially for house seats, the local news isn't going to make that connection. The cable news isn't going to make that connection. Thankfully, uh, I think Brian Metzger at Insider has been doing a great job pointing out this hypocrisy. We're certainly going to cover it. Independent media certainly will talk about it. But where most people get their news, their local nightly news, they're just going to get a, a puff piece. Oh, the airport's getting renovated, or oh, this bridge is getting rehabilitated. They're not going to frame it as, and your member of Congress voted against it. I would love to see it, but I, local news just doesn't do a great job in reporting that element of the story, which is really unfortunate. You know what, Trump used to do this thing that drove Democrats crazy, but I understood the politics of it, where he would make like Democratic governors thank him before he sent the money. And yeah, you can say, oh, that's terrible, and you got it. But it is interesting politics. Imagine if Joe Biden said, "Oh yeah, yeah, that money is coming to your district, Marjorie Taylor Greene. As soon as you say thank you, Joe Biden, for passing this bill, I'm waiting because you said it was great. You were bragging about it. So, won't you want to thank the person who passed it? Are you going to cost your district nine million dollars, Bobert? Are you going to cost your district twenty million dollars because you won't thank Joe Biden? You won't admit that you were wrong." And that the bill was helpful, go ahead, thank Joe Biden. Look, guys, I'm not a Joe Biden fan. I've said 2,000 things against Joe Biden. But what's true is true. They did pass the bill, and these Republicans did vote against it, and then they did pretend that they were in favor of it. But honesty, it's way too much to ask of politicians, especially the fake populists. Oh, I'm such a populist. Oh, I'm so authentic, I fight for you. Do you, do you? You just seem like the same old sleazy lying politicians. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We also love it if you hit the join button below because that makes you a member. And members allow us to be independent, honest. We could be as progressive as we want, no corporate media influence. And that's all because of you guys. We love doing the show with our members. Hit the join button, become one of the Young Turks.